Hey, this is Lisa Ray, and guess what? Wendy's not all that bad. In fact, she's kind of great. Okay, Artie, where's my money? <laughs> Yo, did you catch this flashback? Tevin Campbell. Ow. All right, Trev Hollywood's on the board right now. He's not as proficient with hitting the buttons. Where, where the hell is Dave? Where is Dave? Karen, can you please go get Dave and tell him to bring his ass in here now? Because I'm telling a story and I need his effectiveness on all my sound effects. I want to hear my ow. How you doing? Ow. How you doing? That's great, <laughs> Trev. But you know, Dave knows it like clockwork. Right, right. Watch how fast Everybody he is. How you doing? No, watch how fast Dave is. Tevin Campbell's going to be performing. How you doing? See? <laughs> this is it right here. Mr. Dave, Mr. Whole. Coming through the speakers, boy. It's windy, man. <laughs> Give me this, Justin, before she comes in the stu studio and tries to stop me. At yet another bash for Oscar winner Jamie Foxx last week, Lisa Ray McCoy went after her former friend, actress Stacey Arnell. That's from Menaces to Society. Says other actresses and Arnell. Once voted the sexy woman of the sexiest woman of the year by Black Men's Magazine and sister of the rapper DeBrat, Lisa Ray, is the star of UPN's All of Us. At the party, she allegedly jabbed Arnell in the forehead and tried to punch her in the jaw and ordered her to get out of the get out of the Fox Fest. Arnell, who was in Menace to Society and has appeared on shows like Cold Case, told the story. I was just sitting there with my friend talking, and she came in, and she went for me. And she told me to leave the club. As I was leaving, she came over and proceeded to go after me again. And that's when all the punches in the face happened. So, um, all hands on deck. Because Lisa Ray is about to round the corner. They just went to get her in the pink room. By the way, she's promoting, you know, this woman is taking full advantage of all of her fame. You know, she um, had her lingerie show, Lisa Ray did. Her uh, lingerie line is called Lux and Romance. Plus, she's in the new movie, Beauty Shop. Oh, here she comes. Oh, she got a hat on like she's about to fight. Look, her hat, <laughs> hat, hair all tucked up in the hat. Look, she left her dangly earrings in her bag. Here she come. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. You look fabulous. Hey, mama. You look really wonderful. Look at your man. You look, I think. Oh, you held my face like you you're doing? gay. Hollywood has really hit you. Oh, you did not cut I my do that face. all the time. I do that all the time. Oh, 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 oh she did it again. She did it again. And I sat there and took it. Uh, what does that mean? Like she's gay. <laughs> How you doing? What's up, Mama? Now, look, let's get to the bottom of everything. First of all, I love the signature white. I do. Thank you. It's easy. Well, it is now that you're a, a woman of better means with a regular show. You've yep. got cha -ching, You've got checks, millions of ability. people cleaning up after you at the house, dropping crap off at the drive through cleaner in what, your Benz or your uh, Bentley? What do <laughs> my you Range Rover or my, you know, my Mercedes or my BMW. There you or, go. No. <laughs> Typical Negro, tricking up all your money on cars. No, I no, just I just got bought it. Ooh. Gary yeah. Payton bought them for you. Oh. <laughs> body language crazy. Body there language you go. crazy. There you go. She's not saying anything more. Okay. It is what it is. That's all. I know you got some stuff to ask me. No, well, about the Gary Payton, but you know what? I'm going to leave it alone because now I see it is what it is. No, you know what? No, on the real, we're, we're really good friends. I I admire him being the kind of person that I can talk to yes. and say, you know what? What about this business deal? What did you do? And right. I have a lot of friends, like my ex was a football player, and I totally did not get that he did not save anything. I could not help him. So my thing is like, what are you doing yeah. with yourself that I can help him do? Because he's still in my life, and I still talk to him, and I am still You're, care that, about That's him. your daughter's father? No, okay. no, it's just my ex. Remember Tony Martin? Yeah, but why do you, hang, why do you hang on to him? Because he was a good person. And That's he not did, what Tony Braxton says. And, well, I don't know about what Tony no, Braxton said. Oh, different one? Different okay, one. sorry. All right. Yeah, he's a really good guy. Yeah, you know what okay. I mean? I really, and he's been special, and he's treated me very, very good. Okay. So we have a great friendship. And so to see him go from here to there, to me, it's like, oh, you know, you want to say, I told you so. You know what I mean? Right. But at the same time, you can't really do that. I want to try to help him. Have you sent him any money? Yes. Well, you know, that's yes, I am. that's wow. what suckers wow. do, Lisa Ray. <laughs> that's, that's what the well, good schlong will do for you. That's what kind of girl I am. He helped me, and I, I believe one hand washes the Have other. Have you totally. revisited the romance? Um, No. 
a little Vodio Dow with no strings attached? No. You're not turned on to him because he lost his power. That's what I try to say to the men. You know, when you lose your power, all this down here. And the respect. You yes, know I mean? honey. The respect. I, yes, Lisa Ray. Yeah. You, 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 I mean, if you're going to be the man and you're going to be the king, then be that. You are so authentically beautiful. Look Thank at her. You. Just like no makeup, a little lip gloss. I see you got the false eyelashes. You don't need them still. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I see. I got the wings on the end. Yeah, you got the wings on the end. You look beautiful. What are you Thank doing? You. Um, all kinds of press today? Or are you going on a little date? Yeah, what do you have going on? I have um, a lot of things going on. No, I come I, to the lingerie I, show. I mean, I know the lingerie and I know you have a jeans line called X-ray jeans. Now, what are they going to do for women that like Levi's don't? Well, you know what? Joe it's four way. It's four way. Um, oh, stretch. stretch. Yeah. Oh. And you know, we need that because we have booty no matter how small we are. We have that small waist. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't want to have to keep taking my jeans up in the waist all the time. All you know what I mean? And have that little line of stitching there. That's yes. not cute. Yeah. So to me, it's like x ray with nothing to hide. And even x-ray. if you got a little something to hide, that stretch will keep it in place. When, is, when can we get those? This summer. Really? Yeah. Now, we'll I'm going to make you a pair, though. I would know, love so. to. I would love to. Now, I am a 41 30 41. Wow. Your lips is 41? Woman in a hand. Yeah. They might be a little bigger, maybe 42. Yeah, I think so. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, I think so. I mean, what you know? Do you do Botox? Have you done anything? No. You don't really need to. Yeah, I, I don't I think. Don't, yeah, I, I don't. I like the way I look. You're I mean, a woman you know? of a certain age, and you, you play angry. And for you not to have your anger lines, you know, when you pop your forehead up, what? Oh. Like on the show. Mm-hmm, you have mm-hmm. to have that. You need that. I, but I, you know what? Black don't crack. We oh. do very, Tell very that well. Tell us, Jasmine guy. Oh, easy. <laughs> now, even you wow. Say, oh well, and hey, you know, I it, haven't seen her. Okay, well, but you obviously have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, so do tell about what we can find on Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray, everybody, you know, all of us. The one who is so beautiful, you would think that she was like some diva um, witch. When in actuality, she's, you're a very, very down-to-earth woman. You're Thank fine, you. Lisa. Ray. Ray. <laughs> Dropping McCoy. Well, I mean, it's there, you know, yeah. uh, to force people to try to say Lisa Ray because they always say Lisa and they assume Ray is the last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now... Um, tell what people are going to find on your website, LisaRay.com. Well, I got the new calendar. I have the yes. bomb still, picture. You're still posing. Oh. Yes, I am. That. You know what? And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest. UPN was like, well, you know, you're on a family show and you can't quite. And I said, y'all not going to mess with my money. Yeah. Because I know how much money I make over here. Right. And as a single parent, I need to do what I'm still going to do because there's a different fan base that that appeals to. You know what yeah. I mean? It's the men. It's the And I am who I am. And yeah. I don't uh, uh, apologize for that at all. Yeah. So, yep, I got my new calendar out. Okay. <laughs> and then what are you in? One pieces, two pieces, or tastefully naked? It's a very skimpy one piece. Are you on the computer? I see you already. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. And then I have a, a deck of playing cards. I have air fresheners, um, What's posters. What's that? Oh, the talk You know, all the... <laughs> you still <hear. laughs> all the what? What? <laughs> it's all the like um like the Betty Boop Marilyn Monroe paraphernalia kind of stuff. Oh, nice. It's like that kind of stuff. Nice. Novelty stuff. And nice. that's all to towards my daughter's college fund. I got you. Yeah. Now your daughter's gonna be going to college since she's like fifteen. In two years. Wow. When I tell you I've been going through it with the whole teenage years, we we're just getting back bridging that gap. Yeah. I, yeah, I really so now when I do my teen pageants, I'm not gonna only speak from the head, I can speak from the heart yes. of what I've really gone through with this teenager that I did not know up from down for a minute. Now how is her weight? I, I asked you this last time only because it's always been like I you know, when you have a mom who's a world class beauty, remember that. I do, and I remembered you. You, you know, we talked about it um, briefly, and I don't remember whether it was in front of the scenes or behind the scenes. I talked to Vanessa Williams about this also, because I saw Chastity Bono go through it. I'm like friends with Cher in my in my mind, and I remember when the Sunny and Cher show, and Cher was so naked and half breed, and Chastity was this cute little girl. And she grew up to be this big fat truck driver. And it's such a thin line to tell my daughter to slim down yes. and watch her weight because mommy's so small yes. and curvaceous, you know. So she told me the other day, Ragged. you're the only one that tells me anything about my weight. You're the only one who I'm would. Only, and that's what I saw. I said, I'm your mother. Yes. You know, and she doesn't have the motivation to. I think that that I'm mean, even a trainer. My trainer called and said, you know, Lisa Ray, I'm really sure if I can do it. I was like, well, really? And I'm in the gym going, if you don't get down there and do five more push, I will. And has she ever said, well, I don't make my my living off showing my behind because that's your jump off. Um, she, your beauty. she, no, she, she know I would knock her out if she said anything okay. like that. But. 
she's okay with herself and Good. I'm glad that she's okay with herself. Right. But but you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She has a little touch of high cholesterol. You uh -oh. have to watch that. Uh -oh. And she's snacking. So it, you know, you got to watch what you eat. Yes. It's not just you know you eat no a lot cuz she definitely eat a lot. So the size of your house has changed drastically since MTV Cribs? Yes it has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I have a, like five bedroom and nice. seven bathroom. Do you have a live in? Live in? No. So now who's watching her? Because right now? I know she's old enough to watch herself, but... The, I have a, a best friend, food. Uh, Lamont, that came down from Chicago we well. like this. And his daughter and his son is down there. So oh, we take okay. Turns. Okay, nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Which makes me... I don't want to live in anymore because it takes me away from the day-to-day -day mother thing. Yes. That I need to do as her being a teenager right now. I so can't lose her. Now, the show is doing really well, all of yes. us. You, you guys are going into your third, third season. season. Very nice. Damn. Let me ask you about this, because um, you have a crazy temper. Um, Who said that? Well, the, you know what? Just your demeanor says that you have a crazy temper. Like, even before I ever met you, I think it would be safe to say that your delivery, your, your vocal delivery, the widow's peak. Wait, widow's peak is always on a crazy temper woman. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, um, and I guess that's about it. On the show, of course, you serve up lots of attitude. Mm -hmm. But in real life, I'm talking about you have a crazy temper. Um, I, um... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're going to get what you get. Okay. How is your love life? Who are you dating? I was that you can seeing, be seen out in public yeah, with. I was seeing somebody, and before I, you know, wanted to be seen out in public, I wanted to see where it was gonna go. Yeah. a little immature. You okay. know, I'm looking for, uh, you know, not just a husband, but I'm a stepfather, yeah. obviously. Yeah. You know what I mean? Someone that has some power, respect. Was you the know? person famous? No. An athlete? No. Just, and I think maybe that could be some of it because yeah. I noticed that when you're in the lifestyle and you you date someone that's also in the lifestyle, they uh -huh. understand. It's uh -huh. like you know, I, I don't have really time to school you about yeah. what I'm doing, where I'm going, and all that. That's that's too much for me. So why did you fight? Was it too much uh, brown juice or whatever? Lisa Ray, uh, Stacey Arnell at, uh, after the, at the after Oscar party. You were once voted the sexiest woman of the year by Black Men's Magazine. You're a sister to the brat. You got your own hit show on um, UPN, all of us. You've got the booty jeans you're about to put out. You got your lingerie. You've got your daughter, 15, who's watching you. And all them white clothes to be splattered with red wine. And there you go. Don't, uh-uh. In two minutes or less, Lisa Ray, I saw the sign, uh, Trevor. You <laughs> punched her in the jaw and oh. ordered her to get out of Jamie Foxx's party like you just won the Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> what did right, this what bitch do to you? Up to that. What did she do to you? I'm just going to say this. Okay. That I'm not going to be disrespected. I'm a Chicago soft side girl, and you're not going to just be able to step to me and say what you think and do to me what you think you're going to be able to get away with. It's not going to happen. Did she get up in your face and say something to you? Mm -mm. You heard about it, round out. Mm -hmm. and, and she didn't see you coming towards her at the party? Mm -hmm. and she saw I wasn't you. trying to hide it. And you went up to her and you punched her in her damn jaw. Nah, I didn't say that. But I'm saying it. I, I, well, go ahead. Yeah, because we're, <laughs> we're, we're on the beat in L.A. See, and I, I, the let the me cops. just say this. It wasn't a fight. No, because you it, won. It, you clocked her in the jaw. Oh. You, you ordered her out of the party. Case closed, people. And I don't know what she's done since Menace to Society, but as long as you have all either. of us, <laughs> she's out and you're in. Right. <laughs> she's one of those hot-headed beauties. A lot of men love that. I love do. that. Yes. And you know what? I, would, I, I, don't, I don't get down with the gossip thing. Because I would never try to exploit her or anything like that. Yeah. Nor do I want her to get any publicity off my name and try to get any type of fame off of right. it. Right. But at the same time, there's no, just remember this, there's no reason for anybody to step to somebody if nothing has happened. Okay. All of us is going into its third season. Lisa Ray is the star of the show, along with the others in the cast. Um, a beautiful, and you can find out more along about the Lisa others in the cast. Ray. And all <laughs> she has going on at LisaRay.com. We love you. I love you, too. Thank you for coming what in. What happened to you coming to the My fashion show? I was out of town. Has four children by four different women. This called my mother yesterday. She's like, he got my sister pregnant. I want the money back for the abortion. They have to show up at my house with a receipt. I fell out. The Wendy Williams Experience. Yeah. 
Lisa Ray is gone, everybody, but she's so much fun. I love her. Lisa Ray, everybody. Go to her website, LisaRay.com. L-I-S-A, capital R-A-Y-E, dot com. And learn about her X-ray jeans, which are coming out during the summer. And learn about her Lux and Romance lingerie. Plus, she's one of the stars in Beauty Shop, which she didn't even mention, because that's just a little sidebar to every... I mean, she's dreamt of this moment, but when she's a steady check coming in Hollywood. You know, we've talked about it behind the scenes. So this is real big that all of us is now going into its third season. Um, congratulations on everything, Lisa Ray. I don't believe a word you said about Gary Payton, though, but that's okay. I love y'all's relationship, too. I love the way she greets you. Yeah. It's she, so endearing. I love that. She held my face. I know. You How you doing? You took it. And I took it. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I think she'd be the man. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, pretty man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wendy, I heard you earlier say, oh, by the way, she told me why um why it went down with that woman. Stacey Arnell. Stacey Arnell. You know how like you leave your bag around your house and you might have fifty dollars, you know, sitting around or you know, well, for Lisa Wright, because she's in Hollywood now, so she might have $700 rolled up next to the telephone pad in the kitchen and like that. This girl, Stacey Arnell, has sticky fingers. And so, you know, and she'd been taking Stacey Arnell, you know, to places that she nor- that Stacey Arnell normally wouldn't have gone into, because I don't know her for anything that menace to society, and I couldn't even tell you which one she was in that. She's appeared on Cold Case. What channel is that on? And appeared means she's not starring and she appeared. So, you know, so she was stealing. And so Lisa said, you know what? I'm going to see her. And I don't care if it is at an Oscar party. And it was. And Lisa Ray's from the South Side. You know, you can't hide the hood. <laughs> and so, and, and that's that. And as far as Gary Payton, she Put said what she, Back there. Well, no, she said what she said. And that's, that's what it is. So let's move on. Wendy, I heard you earlier state that little Kim turned down a plea uh, for three and a half years. That is actually incorrect. The last deal offered at all to all the co-defendants was a global plea where the girls, Kim, Hillary, and Monique, would serve no time. And the guys, Rock and Gouda, would serve less time than they are now than they are. Now, everyone agreed to the global plea, except for Kim. Kim held out because she wanted to go to trial, feeling that her celebrity would get her off. Her attorney should have done more to convince her, and she would. Con- and she also continued to lie on the stand. She is a fool, and so is her attorney. Now, would you like to know who's sending me this fax? Who knows so much? Rock's chick. Ooh. Attached with a wow. telephone number. Wow. 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 Well, I thought Kim was Rock's chick. <laughs> Wait, Rock's chick? Where do you fit in? Oh, I know. How you doing? Uh-oh. Save her telephone number. Now, only three people have told me that they saw the Soul Train Music Awards, and everybody's been saying it's a mess, and I've been reluctant to comment on it because, you know, I didn't work the red carpet, so you know what I was doing on this weekend. Whatever night it came on, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, I lie. I do have to tell you that at the very end, right, because I changed over to the... It came on UPN, or it came on Channel 11. Anyway, one of those channels that shows the news at 10 o'clock. And so I was there at five minutes of trying to set up my snacks and, you know, get the channel in position for the news. And there's Alicia Keys accepting an award and, and shouting out to her no good, um, that man who doesn't pay his child Jeff support, Robinson. Jeff Robinson. Wait, I have more on that, too. But anyway, hold on. Goonie says, uh, yeah, Goonie, I said. Wendy Girl, the Soul Training Music Awards were a mess. So many people did not show up to receive their little award. Oh, don't call it a little award. Now, come on now. I guess they've gotten too big for those awards. You know, it's a shame when Destiny's Child wins an award and the one they don't even let speak in the group can't be there to accept. Oh, yeah, Michelle. Scrawny Michelle. She wasn't there? Young Buck is Monica's baby's daddy. Yeah, we have that. I thought we already established that. Samuel L. Jackson's talking out about um, 50s talking about about Samuel L. Jackson. Now you know that this movie's coming out. Get Richard Ryan, try, die trying. 
It's the movie of on 50's life. And Denzel was offered a part in the movie, and Denzel turned it down. And here's Denzel. Uh, De- Who did I say? Samuel Jackson. All right, I'm sorry. You want to know what? It seems like the show is already over, and it re- feels like it just begun. And even though Lisa Ray was only here for a break, I feel like I have to catch up. I hate this. I got a pile full of stuff, and every time I leave here, I always feel like, oh gosh, I, I didn't. Even- All right, let me stop. Exactly. Okay. Is my hair still popped up? To the side. <laughs> no, it's you, gotta, you got a Gumby going no, on. No, 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 I have to read just my sock. <laughs> <laughs> Your dress sock. Look, I was so frightened. <laughs> with the what did you just do to it? <laughs> I readjusted the sock and the butterfly clip. Oh, okay. Why, is it back to normal? No. <laughs> Crap. That's you got okay. a gangster lean to it. <laughs> Leave it alone, please. <laughs> Are we having any more company? No. Okay, no, then let me no, just no. let me just take the whole piece off and throw it on the floor and no, start no. over no. during commercials. <laughs> I'm sorry for interrupting you. Here's another one, Wendy. The Soul Train wasn't a mess. It was tired. See? I sit right next to the fax machine. 866-WENDY-FAX. If you're new to the show, it is what it is. So Samuel L. Jackson says, these people think they're worthy of you sharing screen time with them. But I don't think that. Maybe if 50 Cent does five movies and shows shows me some talent, well, I understand that. Kind of. Take it seriously. Well... Well, no, 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 no. And here's 50's response, because he's actually responding and disrespecting. <laughs> saying he wouldn't work with a rapper is like saying he wouldn't work with Will Smith, Queen Latifah, or Ice Cube. Basically, he didn't want to play second fiddle. He knew that because of my success, people would come to see me, see the movie because of me, and he couldn't handle that. To be honest, I couldn't see where he would fit in the movie anyway, other than as my grandfather. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I can't mess with Sam Jackson. That's a former crackhead right there, boy. I mean, come out the closet here. Yeah. <laughs> And smoke you. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, but you want to know what? Why are people going to see Get Rich or Die trying? There's some truth to uh, what 50 is saying. I don't want to I don't want to say it because I'm I'd rather choose Sam's side, but I'm gonna call it like I see it. There's some truth to what there as a matter of fact, there's all truth to what he's saying. Anybody going to see Get Rich or Die trying is not going to see Sam Jackson. Curtis Jackson. That's right. <laughs> and and I'm sorry if the weekend gross might be better than a Sam Jackson movie. And I understand the hate, but it's windy, man. I just found out this morning that my supervisor's pregnant. Damn you, I told you not to do it. Should I tell my wife what's up? Plan on a divorce. And um, as for your job, put that where? Back there. The Wendy Williams experience. Oh, is this me? Yep. I was preparing for the hour of truth because I see that we only, excuse me, um, the bonus hour because I see we only have another hour left of the show. And um, God, I got so much extra stuff to talk about. So it's the Wendy Williams experience here on 107.5 WBLS. Um, today's R&B and Classic Soul. And on Friday, everybody, I am hosting the WBLS live broadcast from a place called Lounge 42 which is on 42 West Broad Street in the Fleetwood section of Mount Vernon. That's going to be on Friday. Doors open up at 11 o'clock. The doors stay open until 4 a.m. I'll be there somewhere around midnight, and the first 150 ladies are free. Now, this is a grown and sexy party. It's um, 23 and older for the ladies and 25 and older for the men, and we will be checking IDs. The catch to this party is that it's hard bottom Fridays. All right, so this this uh, party is not going to be about sneakers and all like that. It's going to be, you know, grown and sexy. It doesn't mean you can't wear jeans. It just means, you know, throw, throw them on with some hard bottoms. Throw them on with some hard bottoms. doesn't mean you can't wear corduroys, khakis, or whatever it is that you wear. Just th- put some hard, be grown about your, your business. Okay, it's the WBLS live broadcast. Shout out to LifeWise Entertainment. 
and um, we're going to be giving away um, a pair of diamond earrings to the, earrings to the sexiest lady. I don't know how the giveaway is going to be done. I'm not going to be a part of that because I don't want to be involved with calling some, who's who's sexy. You know, sexy is as sexy does. First of all, sexy is in the eye of beholder. Second of all, and so I'm going to let the DJ handle that. I'll be on the mic, though. All right, so I'll see you guys on Friday at 42 West Broad Street in uh, Mount Vernon, New York. The club is called Lounge 42, okay? 42 West Broad Street, and I'll see you on Friday night, okay? That's what's really good. All right, um, where's my WBLS information? Oh. Don't I? Yeah, look in that book. What's that, Monday? Yeah, today's Monday. Uh, well, yeah, just anything. I haven't read any all the whole uh, show. I'm thinking that I'm missing out on a van appearance or something. Something is going on. We're always out in the community, kicking up dust, causing chaos. And here we are, say, we're causing chaos in the Bronx on Saturday. Saturday at 2 p.m., the WBLS Shore Shots will be taking it to the hoops as they take on the TCAA All-Stars. This game is happening on Saturday at 2 p.m. at IS 214 on Boston Road at East Tremont, okay? And all the proceeds are going to benefit the Therapeutic Community Athletic Association. Isn't that great? Would your game like to challenge our WBLS Shore Shots? I'm going to give you the Shore Shot um, hotline number, okay? 212-592-592. 0556 212-592-0556 okay and because we're always keeping you in, t- in touch with the community and what all's going on and stuff all right everybody it's six minutes before the hour and we're going to play some more um information for you and then and and more of the wendy williams experience thanks